Hi everybody, welcome back to our classroom channel. Today is the last mini lesson in our little, I've, I've been calling it PATH, Purpose, Audience, and Form, little acronym for you. But today is our last mini lesson and today we're talking about form. So with form, our question is, how was it written? So that's what we're going to keep in mind. How, it's our form, it's what it looks like. It's techniques that we use. This includes figurative language. So there are five different types of form and these are general types. I'm going to tell you them now. There is a brochure or an advertisement, a report, a letter, an article. This can be in a newspaper or a magazine or a speech. So in a brochure, you would include things like headings, pictures and colors, facts, there would be opinions, and the rule of three, keeping things in three is a good rule that we use in English. And there would of course be sections and brochures, as you probably know, are usually folded into three, so they're very organized, very organized form of writing. For a report, same kind of deal. We're talking about headings, it's very structured. We're talking about diagrams and graphs, so different visual aspects. We're talking about statistics and sections and it's usually unbiased so it's just the facts. Very structured form as well. And then when we're talking about a letter this can be informal or formal. So formal would be something that you are writing to your teacher or to get a job. Informal would be something to your best friend or a journal entry or a grandparent. And on letters you would include your date, the address, your address, and the address of the person you're sending it to. There's a greeting, so dear, Mr., Mrs., Miss. And then there's an ending, so sincerely yours, or from, or love, whatever it may be, and then you sign your name. In a letter, you're going to explain why you're writing, so that would be your main point. And then you're going to have structured points in your letter about what you're writing about. So then when we're talking about an article, again, this can be a newspaper or a magazine. We're looking at things like headings, again, very structured, looking at things like photographs and with photographs captions, so telling us what's happening in the photograph. There's a lot of structure in an article, but they can also either be biased or unbiased. So it can either be highly opinionated or just the facts. And sometimes there is no in between. A lot of times they sway very biased or very unbiased. It's just what type of article you've picked up. And then when we talk about speeches, we're talking again about the rule of three. So keeping your points to three minimum, that's a good number. We are addressing the audience. So again, that is knowing our audience. We need to know our audience to address them. So we do a lot of using the word you. There's a lot of opinions in speeches and, and emotive language. So to get people fe feeling something. And there's a lot of repetition and rhetorical questions. Obviously, when you ask a question, in a paper that you're writing or a speech that you're giving, a lot of the times the audience might not be able to respond to the rhetorical questions, but it gets people intrigued. So that's a good technique to use. So again, just like purpose and audience, knowing the format of your writing before you start writing is good because it keeps you structured, it keeps you organized, and it keeps your writing looking and sounding really good. So knowing your purpose, your audience, and your form is very important to writing. And it really just makes you a better writer. So that was the last mini lesson in our little three rule of three mini lesson format. Um, tomorrow, we're going to talk about the little writing piece that I would love for you to partake in. And that gives you the weekend to do it. Um, I think on Friday, we're going to talk about some reading resources because I know this has been very writing heavy. I've been trying to figure out how to get you guys reading from home. But I think on Friday, I'll give you guys some reading resources and you can just peruse and write and take your time with all of this. So see you tomorrow for your writing assignment. Thank you so much for learning with me today. See you tomorrow. Bye guys.